Hi guys. So on this during this uh, lecture, I'll show you how we intend, I intend to deploy your uh, Red Hat OpenStack platform on uh, I say KVM infrastructure. Okay, and uh, this deployment will be deployed with VLAN. Okay, or have uh, with VLAN. Okay, so let's do this. So I will start up by uh, show you my my environment. I will have. We have an existing deployment or that has been already done. We have on utility node where we have in DNS and NTP configure there. We have all already deployed on our underpart environment. Okay, and this node will be on a Windows node, which permit me to manage uh, my my environment. Okay. Very simple. Okay. So let's put that on this node and throw the RDP. Um, I mean, this is this configuration. Let me be sure. Yeah, okay. So, Okay, so right now I'm connected on this environment. Okay, so um, next, so right now I'm connected on this node. Okay, so the next thing say is to connect on my undercore environment. Okay, so let me show you it. Let's do this. I have already a multi uh, configure, but let me. Mm. Party. Uh, uh, um, things to do. Yeah, my underpart is zero. Let me connect on it. Stack. So for those who are used to this underclub deployment, of the stack user will remain you something. Okay, so let's go ahead right now. Next step, okay, will be to prepare my environment. So let me show you. Uh, I have both this on the cloud that is connected to the networks. Which let's list. Okay, so this uh, on the cloud node is connected to this management node at the moment. And says things are for the utility node, it connects it is uh, connected to the management network. Okay. And uh, regarding the regarding the I can say the production of networks, let me show you uh, to show you something next. But um, regarding the VLAN configurations, okay, so because I will deploy it uh, uh, through the VLAN, so I have to create uh, some additional uh, networks uh, which we connect uh, to the open V switch uh, for the networks for the VLAN configuration part. Okay, so this uh, LED VTR network so will be connected to open this switch uh, to manage the VLANs. Okay, so let me show you how I have, uh, have deployed those the, the connection between the LibVit uh, networks and the and uh, the open v switch bridge. Okay, so I will show you right now. So how I have done this one is uh, a pretty simple. Let me take this one, this bridge, this uh, LibVit switch for instance. Let's see this, and I will see how we will see how I have connected it, uh, configure it. So right now, I can see we have a bridge there, okay, and, uh, and the connected on the uh, connection with the uh, open v switch is done through this configuration, okay. So on the open v switch, I have also this bridge which has been created, okay. This uh, connection has been already uh, created uh, on open this switch 
networks. Okay, so let me just uh, show you how this one has been done. Pretty simple. Okay, so on the open this feature, we can show all the let me get up from there. You can see, you can see, you can have a bridge internal API bridge and our uh, OSP uh, storage management bridge. We have also the OS storage bridge. Okay, so this means can remind you some things for those who are used to the payment of the open stack over cloud environments. Very, very uh, simple. Okay, so after done that, okay. Uh, and how am I create this switcher was bridge that is pretty simple. It's draw this here is the content of the file. For instance, for the antenna API uh, bridge uh, on the open this or on the lib bit. Okay, I created first of this uh, file. Let me show you the file. Okay, here is the file. And after that, uh, we show net define. Uh, define and the file name okay and once the, the bridge has been de uh, defined i can start it okay and start simply the name of the bridge simple okay you see here how we have created those those bridges okay so and uh, next step let me go ahead next i have to now prepare my environment how this sub requisite of the bridge has been done. The next steps, next steps will be to, uh, to declare or to create uh, the different uh, operating systems, the different uh, VMs or the different nodes of my deployment. Okay, so let me show you how the let me show you the procedure that I will use of to perform all this. Uh, Deployer this uh, nodes, the OpenStack node, the overcloud nodes, uh, information. So this is will be draw this version, uh, install command, and uh, here is the magic. This uh, uh, nodes will be uh, uh, next time so provisionable PXE, PSE, okay, deployment, okay. So but from now, I have some prerequisites that have that has been that should be uh, done. Right now, regarding the networks, I will connect up my uh, this node on two networks. I mean, uh, for the production, it's connected. It will be connected on two networks: the storage network and the internet API network. And as you can see here, it is, uh, it is two networks. This one is the bonding. Okay, I will connect next when I when the provisioning will be done. I will con connect the bonding interface up with the bulk interface. Okay. This one also will be the both one will be also connected on configure through the bonding configuration. Okay, this is why we have two connections on the same bridge just for bonding next time. Okay, and after that, for the uh, control plane network, so it will be for this uh, particular uh, bridge. Okay, this particular bridge, uh, let's be sure that this bridge is uh, of my environment. Uh, um which, uh, let's let's if don't uh, I have it or not um not sure but let me see uh on which uh sorry I didn't at all uh, um, if list for, for this particular node, just to see. Okay, so it's connected on this bridge, particular bridge. Okay, so and this means that all those nodes should be uh, connected on this bridge. Also for the control plane part. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me. Okay, let me just uh, replace it. I uh, this one. Sorry, I'm just uh, do it in real time. This all 
Yeah, good. Okay. So this bridge will be my uh, control plane bridge. Okay. So and uh, this one will be uh, the bridge that I will use for 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 to permit of the EPMI for shut down and shut and shut up of the different nodes. Okay. Through the IPMI. Okay. Uh, connections. Okay. So if you. You receive it all later, but uh, retain that uh, this uh, bridge will be uh, important for her to shut down and shut up uh, or shut off to shut off uh, or shut uh, start up of the different nodes. Okay, so great. Set. So let's go ahead. Um, I will now define the nodes, and, and if you see the characteristic, it's pretty uh, simple. Here I have used uh, the eight. Okay, gig of RAM. Uh, and uh, regarding the pro virtual processor, we have four. Okay, virtual processor. Okay, okay. So I will do it right now. Let me uh, go ahead. We have to, uh, for my deployment. I will have uh, two compute nodes, as you can see, two compute nodes. I will also have three con controllers nodes. Okay, as you can see here, we have, uh, we have three controller nodes. One, two, three. Okay, here. And we will have, have only one uh, storage node. Okay, uh, so it, is, it will be enough for, for my deployment. So let's go ahead right now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's define all those nodes. Okay, so let me show you right now your wish list. Uh, ah, yeah. So let's define all those nodes right now. Okay. Hmm. I mean, this um, recording will be a little bit longer. So sorry for that. And uh, I hope that I will not get confused. Great. And uh, next. Um, I will, for the second node, let's do this. Second compute node. Yeah, and for first controller node, I will define. Okay. Second controller node. The third controller node. And uh, the last node will be the self-storage node. Great, okay. So, and uh, let me show you this list. You can view view the different node defined here right now. Okay. And um, what shall I do right now? So the next steps will be the virtual name, virtual BMC uh, configuration to permit the underclass node to shut down and start up with the different nodes. Okay. So it will be important how you are. We are on KVM environment. I will have to configure uh, each node to be connected to the virtual BMC, to the mandatory. So we have to do that. Okay. If it is not already done. So let, let me just uh, list over uh, the actual configuration done in my uh, virtual BMC environment. I'll show you. Okay. Right now, I, I already done, done that uh, previously. But uh, if you it not done in your environment, it's pretty simple. So let me show you the configuration. What you have to do first, you have to add each node in your virtual BMC configuration. Also, uh, adding done. The next step will be uh, to start. Okay, uh, this node on the B uh, virtual BMC uh, configuration. Very simple. Okay. Okay. Once this one has been done. 
I remember I say that it will be visor management of the network that of uh, the the power up and the power off for will be done. Okay, so let me go back and go ahead and uh -huh, so on that. Let me. I have not. I, have, I should not to go back on the under cloud nodes. Okay, so right now I will connect it on this under cloud node. Okay, first I will go. Of course, I will go on the uh, Windows node and uh, with the party, I will connect it on the under cloud node. Okay, so let's do that right now. I open it as you can see here, and I'm on the on the cloud node. Okay, yeah. Next step for after the connected, uh, I have to. You can test of the test of the virtual BMC connection if you like. Okay, but you see that hey, let's say. Mm, 40, 40 for instance i asked i mean this node for instance uh, let's see. Mm, let's see 50. i will try to power on we have to, just to be sure that of the configuration for with the virtual BMC is okay. This port for is a, uh, is a linked to this node, for instance. Okay, so I will try to power on. Okay, the node it is already powered on, so nothing will be done. But I can shut up or restart. I can start up this node also. So just to be sure that the configuration of virtual BMC is okay or not. Okay, great. So that means that our connection is okay. Okay, so this connection has been done through the management networks. Okay, so let's go ahead. Next time, um, next time or that I have to reach the declare or to conf to or to declare my different nodes, the different nodes in the node the registration file. Okay, so I have already the, this file which is there. Let me show you node registration. Yeah, this file. Okay, on this file, I have already registered all those nodes. Okay, let me be sure where we have to be uh, very careful is about the, the MAC address. Okay, I have to be sure that those MAC address is uh, this MAC address, for instance. Okay, should be the same MAC address. Let me for the controller one. Should be the same MAC address that I use for for this part of my uh, node declaration controller one. This one, for instance, we have to be sure that it's the same MAC address D one. Okay, D one. Okay, same things. Okay, here for instance, sixty nine. Let me just be sure. Sixty nine. Okay, and. Uh, and um, same things for the controller, for instance, for the store receptory node, for instance, is ending up by DA. Let me go down. DA, great. Okay, so every back address uh, is uh, uh, okay. So now let's go ahead. As my file has been defined, the next step is uh, to import or to declare inside of the under cloud. Uh, the different node of my over cloud okay so do it so it's pretty simple it is will blow the command will blow the import command
and we should be take uh, less than 15 minutes okay yeah it's okay so now all load has been shut on okay so it will be uh, both nodes will be shut up now okay we'll be starting or oh, power on both nodes will be power on right now Okay, great. So now, for overcrowd nodes are available. Okay, so now we can proceed to the next step. Okay, so thank you very much. Let's see, let's go to the next step. Bye for now. Okay, so let's continue. After successfully performing the reintrospections on both nodes or the node of our overclouds, we can proceed. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. So, as uh, I mentioned to you, after performing the, the reintrospections on the the provisioning status should be a max answer available. All of those nodes of, of our uh, out over cloud should be uh, in available states. Okay, so after successfully done that, we can, for instance, because I, I told you the introspection state permit has permit to the other clouds discover all the materials that we have inside of each node. For instance, of the controller. Okay, let me see. Let's take you. Let's make a list of your interface interface that we have within this particular mode. Okay. Right now we have our ENS sub three, uh, five, seven, four, and so on. If you remark that this MAC address corresponds to the MAC address that we have. Uh, let me show you also here the MAC address that we have here. 
controller one let me yeah I get I get this like oh sorry yeah this MAC address for instance okay so it's same thing for this one uh, it is two three or uh, four and so on okay so great after doing that you can uh, move ahead if you over here is uh, the OVS of brain stitches okay so right now all nodes are down so no port has been created for for both nodes and, uh, and also there is no operating system to deploy get in those nodes at the moment okay so this is why right now we have no port the first the node are down and there is no operating system inside them okay so let's move on uh, the next step uh, is uh, I have already created uh, uh, some directories, and uh, this directory is will be where uh, I will have. Uh, let me go back on the on my under cloud. I have already created uh, this directory, and within this directory, we have some scripts that I will script the script and the, the, the templates that I will use for my deployment, basically. Okay. So let me show you. For instance, we have this directory, and within this directory, we have all the script, the script of to declare the provision to provision to perform provisioning of the networks. Okay, and also we have the virtual IPs. We have bare bare metal nodes provisioning. We have to declare all both nodes. We have also self node self storage. Uh, deployment bar for we have also a script uh, to for that we have also over clouds uh, when the self story has been de successfully deployed we can provision it or you can deploy our over, over cloud nodes okay. and it helps also this last script is for delete the over cloud if needed okay so let's uh, I will show you the content of the first script, for instance. Here is the content, but I will go with turning to this structure uh, in a few moments. But the first thing so, is to declare all the the uh, networks. Okay, so let me show you. So here we have the the content of the script that we have also. Let me. Uh, Declare those variable and uh, uh, declare okay. So here, how you can see, we have for we have to declare the different network for each name for each overcloud that we want to deploy because the overcloud can deploy a mini overcloud uh, infrastructure. Okay, and but. In our case, we have to deploy it, and each other cloud have a specific name, which is a stack. Okay, so here our other cloud I will name I will name it uh, over cloud one simply. Okay, so from the point of view of other cloud, the first stack we, that we have to we need to deploy we call over cloud one definitely okay so let me show you another thing is the network data where we have to declare all our our networks that we should get in our environment okay so as you can see we have a storage network we have a storage management network for data replication is for data access to our uh, you know, to the self storage but okay this also knows as the public networks for those who are used to the to self storage okay we have also unintended IP networks we have over external networks we can have many external networks that can, that can be merged to the things that we all those have we provide their networks okay and we have also the TNS network okay that we have right, right now here so all those definitions are there and we have, we have also vlan id that you can have right now here okay so after done that we have the, we have declared all the informations let me again show you the content of the script um which in excel all 
once this one has been done, we can have to declare this output of our deployment for the network part. Okay, we have this one firewall deploy deploy networks. Okay, then and this file, this output file will be a, a push or created in this folder, particular folder. Okay, so let, let's move on on this uh, in this folder. Let's move on, on it. Okay. We have all this one file say it but so it's this one is due to my previous deployment so this is why we have all those files right now here okay this one this one thing that you might to carry your previous of deployment okay so let's go so this file should not say this thing uh, at the beginning okay it will do it will create after the of deployment done okay and uh, same things for this file and so on but this one is other file that i created me i will explain you why i created this whole file so it will be on the next part of this video okay so this one this one this one and this one okay so i will explain to you okay so uh okay let's proceed so now i can you can create a very networks or in our for our over cloud okay for the deployment of our over cloud but before I do that let me uh, refer, list the actual networks so at the moment we have only the control play networks okay and uh yeah so let me go back uh, to the yeah so let me execute all this uh, script uh, as you see here yeah. Yeah, okay. So once on that, we can list again the networks that we have. Great. Okay. So after done that, we have to also create all the virtual IPs that we, my uh, deployment will use. Okay. So so those virtual ISV will be deployed through this script. Okay. Because it's easier. We can recommend OpenStack over cloud network like VIP uh, provisioning and the name of stacks. The VIP uh, will file where we declare all our virtual IPs okay, and the output. Okay, so the virtual IP data file is there. So let me show you the content at the moment. Yeah, okay, as you can see, uh, for each. For each uh, network, uh, I could, I could uh, define uh, a specific virtual IP right now. Okay, so let's proceed. Once on that, uh, my uh, mm -mm -mm. The script is ready. Let me do it. Execute it. I will say yes. Great. Okay. Uh, next steps. Mm, next steps will be a bare metal deployment. Okay. The bare metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This script is a particular script because it is where we have to deploy of the operating system inside of each node. Okay. Mm. So here is the content, and um, here is the, the comment to, for deploy to it uh, manually. Okay, we have to use the comment open stack over cloud node provision stack the name of stack dash dash networks and dash config and uh, the, the input file. 
this bm int file and uh, let me show you the content of uh, this file yeah here you have to tell so the for each type of network how you intend to configure the, the network interface okay so here is the data config file and uh, let me show you uh, uh, no. how am i open this page cats in other way So for a controller nodes, nodes, for instance, I will say in this cell we have uh, all those all the different types of uh, network of the nodes that we have uh, in this file. Okay, for instance, we have a uh, controller nodes type. We have. Uh, Compute node here, as you can see, we have also self storage node type. Okay, we have both three uh, node, node types right now at the moment. Okay, for each node, we have to tell to, to our undercard how you should uh, configure them. Okay, regarding the network. So let me go back on the controller. So for the network interface configuration, we have, we have created this file controller.g2. Okay, so let go, let's move on this file. So here is where the magic happens. If you remember, We have this section of the file which configure the control plane interface. If you remember, okay, the control plane interface so will be configured, and we have the name of the, of the interface uh, ENS3. <laughs> and we have how this one should be configured. We have IP address of the control plane slash, uh, slash the subnet CDR, okay. And regarding the, for, uh, I can see the production so. Uh, Graphics interface, which are the ENS four, five, and so on. The bo how the bonding will be configured. So you have it here: Linux bonding configured for both two interface ENS three and five. So let me just remind you something here rapidly. If you remember, when those nodes were created, we, we have two interface. Yeah this one and this one okay connected on the same bridge okay so this and this one will be configured as a bonding interface okay it will be bonded on the one in one interface okay same things for this one okay both both interface will be bonded on only one interface and uh, uh it will be over this bonding interfaces so that will create our different of vlans okay so let's proceed So this is it, okay. And uh, how the bonding will be? It will be an active and backup. For example, it. I particularly choose this one because I'm um, in the KVM interface and I use I use uh, the the OpenV switcher for for the VLAN configuration. Okay, so it's just because of that, just because of that I use uh, this mode. But in your case, if you are in the physical physical deployment you should use another mode okay yeah so this one has been done so and catch it catch uh, look at this very uh, carefully at the moment there is no port deployed yet on those nodes okay so those are bridge at the moment okay so do, let's start the the overclock provisioning through this script. Uh, 
to confirm. Yeah, that's it. And we have just to, to wait till the end of this horizontal. Yeah, I've got uh, an error. What does this say? Hmm, great. You see, I make it uh, say no, no bare metal uh, declare at the moment. Okay, so how, because how, like default, we have two types of uh, room inside of her, inside of our, our uh, inside of the deployment of uh, overclass self storage, okay. We have a controller node and compute node, but right now I will intend to deploy also a self storage node, so I have to declare it uh, properly. So let's do it. Uh, I have to declare the self storage. Uh, you know, open stack. Uh, it, uh, at least I have to, to tell to say that hey this node for instance is intended to be a self storage node okay so I have to de uh, declare it properly so let's do this uh, and I can uh, do it up to this uh, command let me show you it Okay. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. So through this command, I will try in my environment. Okay. Okay. And uh, also, we have to don't forget that uh, we have uh, those. This role have to be declared. Okay. This file um, role data should be declared, and uh, we have to define all those nodes that you should you intend to have in your environment. Simply. Okay, so I will intend to have to show you the three types of role the controller node, the compute node, and self storage node, uh, node. Okay, as the role in the environment. Great, let's, let's move on. So now let's continue.
Okay, so the disk configuration is on Zorin, and uh, also the network interface will be a procedure just after that for each type of node. So now the network interface has been uh, configured. Okay. Great, great, great. So, how provisioning has been done successfully? Let me show you. Okay. Uh, list. okay, so now the, the state is uh, pro the provision state sir, is now active. Okay, power on. Let me refresh the state. Sir. List. We can view all those nodes, and uh, right now, if I intend to connect on this node, it's possible. SSH stripe. Oh, that's uh, uh, dash admin. Okay. Yeah, we have. Um, yeah, just because. Uh, yeah. As you can see, I am right now in the controller mode, complete. Okay, so I can view the, the, the interface has been correctly configured as I expected. Okay, the bonding has been done. As you can, you can see here the bond bond one, the bond also zero, uh, zero. Okay, definitely uh, well done and uh, yeah. So everything is okay and uh, we are good. Okay, definitely. So let me go back and also here in uh, search list. Yes, you can see the different nodes are up right now. And let me show you what happened on the bridge part. Okay, all ports have been created right now. Okay, all ports have been created, and now I will have to declare the different of VLAN IP uh, address. Okay, because let me show you, for instance, if I, if I intend to, let me show you something. Okay, if I say I want to ping the second controller node at the moment, okay, so it has you can see.
Uh, let me average nodes no yeah okay so we are good right now all both nodes are what are there mm -hmm. Let me run. I think so. Four, yeah. Yeah, I have six. No, I don't think. Seven. Maybe six. Let me go back and uh, connect it to a second row. Seven. Uh, yes. Again, okay. Oh, okay, so this means that uh, our deployment of uh, our whole operating sample is running uh, all good, so that we can proceed to the next steps. Okay, so for the next step, let me show you the next step. The next step will be the self storage deployment. Okay, the self storage for the self storage deployment, I have to, uh, I mean, I have to declare the, the disk. Okay, the high drive that I will use for my uh, deployment. Let me just decrease all the value. I want to make. I don't want to make full my. Uh, I can say one hundred. And uh, yeah, yeah, I will do it like that. Okay, so next. And I will attach the, the driver to my self storage mode. Okay. Great. Uh, next step, what we can do is uh, let me just uh, I will check something at the moment. If I already have all the, hmm, sorry, I will have to check if I have all the six all the images for the self storage. For resuming, Okay, so I might have self storage. Yeah, I have it. Okay, so I can pro proceed. 
If you don't, we have to, to download, okay, uh, those images with uh, the command OpenStack triple container image preparer and we will download all the images. Okay. And uh, next steps uh, uh, will be to show you the content of some, of some file. Okay. And if I do, the better way is to show you the script. The script are the test storage deployment. moment okay so here is the script of the self storage deployment as you can see here we have we have some more uh, information that we have to to, to provide okay uh, of course of our container image prepare file of course the network data okay well, what is the network data it's it's over uh, this file or you or you already know this uh, file what is it and we have to provide also the, not a, um, the configuration, the initial configuration file. Okay, this initial configuration configuration file uh, we specify how, which are the different initial parameters that we have we would like to 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 give to our self storage at the deployment phase. Okay, here see for instance we have we always the default host side is one. The OSD default main side is one also, and uh, and uh, regarding the the public networks is this one, and the cluster network will be also this one. Okay, this one correspond to the storage. Okay, VLAN, and uh, this one is corresponding to the storage management VLAN simply. Okay, so let's move on. Now, once this one has been successfully defined, and also, yeah, the, this IP address is the IP address of, of our utility nodes. Okay, on this one, NTP has been configured on this particular node uh, on the utility node. So let me uh, show you. I will connect it on this one. This one, okay. Here is the configuration of our NTP at the moment, mm, and uh, which things else? Uh, um, and also, we have all the DNS that has been configured on this uh, uh, file, on this node, particular node. And, uh, 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 I don't see DNS within this why, but here is the confusion of our, of our DNS at the moment. Let me show you the, the content of the. If it, which will be important for, as for instance, top of the OpenShift deployment, for instance. Okay. So let me go back. Let me go back. Yeah. Okay, so let's proceed. I will now load the deployment of our self storage. Let's do that right now.
Okay, great. The deployment has been done successfully. So now we can move on. Mm, how can I check that everything is okay? Very simple. Let's connect on the self storage node. Okay. Mm, CFDM. So we can uh, uh, yeah, correct. Great. Okay. So right now we have three OSD nodes due to the disk or hard drive that we had it before, and. Uh, the monitor has been the monitor's daemon has been deployed on those uh, nodes controller one two three nodes definitely okay this is very interesting and right now our cluster is in warning state because just because of here the failure demand is on on our host okay and right now we have only we have a uh, only one node. Okay, so if you want to uh, make this, uh, this, uh, I can say, if you want to make this uh, warning disappear, we have to uh, change the failure domain from host to OSD. Okay, but anyway, this one is not uh, in zero. It's not uh, in how cluster will be still working even if you have all these issues, okay? Hmm, health. So to see which ports have these issues. Okay, this is a, 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 a MDF port, the default port that has been created at the deployment of our cluster. Okay, let's go, let's proceed. Next step sir, is the uh, we over cloud now. We can now uh, perform the deployment of our over cloud right now. Okay, so let me show you. The command that you will use for the over cloud for deployment. It will be this file, this or Yes, this uh, script, script, and uh, here it is. Okay, here is the content of the script. It is a little bit uh, complicated, but we have many many environment informations. We intend to activate the CFDM or the CFMDS or the Manila uh, self native configuration. The standard backup also will be your uh, configure. Mm, yes, uh, we have also the we have repeated something twice. Let's go just back up. I repeat it. I just repeat it once. Okay, we have also the how you want to activate uh, activate the HTTPS for this uh, TLS uh, should be enabled. Okay, so I will see how we have also the, this customization customization file. Let me show you the content what we have inside this customization file. We have we we have designed this defined over DNS IP uh, address. Uh, we have also defined over the cloud name, which is which will be uh, this one, the cloud domain, the user admin password should be uh, open slash. We can change it up to us, but here we can define it at the beginning at the deployment or what will be what should be the admin password. And uh, what else? And uh, for the 
for um, provided that box, for instance, we can we can say that hey, it will be for the BR external uh, interface that we intend to go in through the external network simply. Okay. So this is done. We can uh, go to the next step, so which will be uh, to deploy our over cloud through this uh, command. Okay. So it is very it is a uh, very it is very interesting moment. So let me uh, proceed by executing this uh, script. Yeah. We hope that there is no uh, no error. So because we have at least one hour or uh, fifty five minutes uh, to for the deployments. Okay. So thank you very much. I will let you and I will come in back at the end of the deployments.
Okay, great. So the deployment has been done successfully. Let's try to connect on our dashboard right now. Let's do this. Let me see if I'm able to pin this because uh, CMD in the pin that the, the internal resolution is not working, so I have to, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, the resolution is okay, but uh, okay. Here it is. Uh, control C. Uh, let me just one. Okay. We have to have the local uh, routes. What you think is? Uh, no. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So let me just uh, did it yet? The writer uh, is this one? Let's do this and let's try it again. Okay, great. So now the resolution. Okay, great. So I can connect on it. Great. Okay. So now the our open stack platform is reachable and available. That's great. That's great. Great. Let's see uh, some information about how platform the IPL Visor. Okay, I uh, have two compute nodes and uh, 32 uh, CPU regarding the RAM. Okay, we have 62 gig of RAM right now available. Okay, so that's very great. That's great, and uh, there we go. So, thank you very much. And uh, here is how you can deploy your overcloud infrastructure. Pretty simple. and uh,
hopes that you enjoy. Okay. So another thing that we can check is uh, the red dust at uh, the red dashboard. Okay. Or for I'm safe. So let me show you it. Uh, And yeah, okay, so will be admin and our password should be available here. Let me show where you can find the password. Okay, let me check it. That's uh, what we find. It is a Strapo CFDM dashboard password. Okay, great. So let's try this one. And uh, yeah, here is how we can access to the dashboard for the self storage. That's this is great. So thank you very much and see you for the next video and I hope that you enjoy it. Okay. Bye for now and take care.